Hello, I'm Pete Hodges with Gentune LLC, and what you're looking at is my old transfer pump. I built this pump back in 85 uh, when I was working for my former employer to transfer fluids on engines. I designed it for the purpose of uh, transferring fluids, engine oil, antifreeze, diesel fuel, whatever you had to pump. <clears throat> and I set it up so that 50 feet of hose and all of the fittings, which you might be able to see in there, would fit in a five gallon bucket and I could transfer this pump and I keep a, a bucket of buckets on my truck. And <coughs> this pump was set up with half inch fittings. Um, you can see that. That's a half inch national pipe uh, on a um, on a wise trainer and then I use NPSM swivels so I can quick disconnect the pipes and I've got a valve here um, let's see anyway um, <clears throat> the valve I you know would uh, go on a machine if I needed it there and I've done a lot of things with this pump over the years I can't tell you how much work I've done with it and finally I've run into problems with it this pump head right here, I can't buy this pump head the way I want it anymore. And um, so I decided to go ahead and replace this pump complete. And these fittings here take it from 3 eighths to half inch. And I've, uh, I usually dope them up with uh, Permatex, put them in the pump um, so that my half inch hose couplings will fit in it. I've, I've reamed these out. Um, so that they'll flow a little bit better. And I set these in this pump head here real tight so that while I'm using the pump, they don't come loose. But um, I took the box off the back of the pump. I don't know if you can see here, but there was an ear right here broke off, and this pump never held the electrical box real good. Um, so it finally got to where the electrical box wouldn't stay on it, plus I couldn't buy the pump head. Now this pump head here is a brass gear pump. It doesn't have a relief valve, so you can pump equally well in both directions. And then I put a reversing switch back on the back of the pump so that when you flip the switch in this direction, the pump pumps fluid in that direction. And when you bring it back to stop, it stops. You flip it this way, it pumps fluid in that direction. And so it's a very handy pump for doing oil changes and draining cooling systems and such for uh, maintenance. And um, I figure no matter where you use it, you always need an extension cord. So I just put a bobtail cord on it so I wouldn't have to deal with the cord while I was uh, rigging up the hoses. One of the things about this pump that I love is the fact that so many of my customers have helped me with it over the years. This pipe right here, when I first started using this pump, one of my customers saw I was having trouble draining a five gallon bucket. I didn't have the right nipple to reach down there. So he had uh, this PVC, Schedule 80 PVC. He cut it and threaded it for me. And then we put a notch in the bottom. Hope you can see that. So that we could suck the bottom of a five gallon bucket right down to almost nothing. I've probably serviced a thousand engines with this pump easy. <coughs> I've uh, I've probably replaced this pump head 15 times while I've had that pump. They wear out about every year and a half or so. So I'm changing torches on my pump. The old pump is going to go in the archive and the new pump is going to be placed in service. I'm Pete Hodges. It's Gentune LLC.